I don't get a huh? <laughs> <laughs> Hey, what's going on guys and welcome back to another video. We post content every day, so if you'd like to show your support, give this video a thumbs up if you're a fan of Ellen DeGeneres and if you already knew some of these things, join the notification squad by subscribing and hitting that bell notification on, but also don't forget to comment down below saying I subscribed to enter our monthly shoutouts and we'll make sure to reply and thank as many of you as we possibly can. Hope you enjoyed the video. Ellen DeGeneres went from a stand-up comedian in the 1980s to being one of America's most well-known television personalities nowadays, and one of the richest. She was the second highest earning television host in 2018 and 15th highest paid celebrity overall, earning $50 million from The Ellen DeGeneres Show and a whopping $87.5 million in total. Her net worth is estimated to be somewhere between $400 and $450 million, and in today's video, we are going to take a look at the true scale of the show host's wealth. Let's start with something small. As you might have noticed, Ellen often wears men's watches matching her outfit, and she actually has her own watch collection because the actress and comedian is a huge watch lover and collector. She says, no matter where I am, I keep my watch set to the mountain time zone. While interviewing then-President Barack Obama on her show, Ellen was spotted wearing a Rolex Daytona Vintage for example. Its case is made of yellow gold, and the watch comes with the iconic fluted bezel and a traditional stick dial that merges perfectly with Ellen's understated street style. Rolex watches are known to be expensive, but this special model that was produced sometime between 1971 and 1988 is valued at around $160,000, which, you will agree, is a pretty insane price for a timepiece. While collecting watches might be fairly normal, even though one of Ellen's watches probably costs more than an average person's entire collection, the show host apparently likes to collect some other things as well. She is a huge fan of sports cars, and when you're as wealthy as Ellen, you can obviously get yourself a variety. One of the many fast cars she can choose from is a Porsche 911 Carrera S. This car has a top speed of 191 miles per hour and an acceleration speed of 0 to 100 kilometers per hour in just 4.3 seconds. Ellen is driving a black version of this car that is powered by a 3.8 liter engine with 400 horsepower. The stylish car comes with enhanced suspension and electronic power steering and costs the comedian and actress a whopping $100,000. Just like her watches, Ellen can basically match her cars to her outfit or her mood and if she feels like traveling back in time, she can just go on a ride in her Porsche 993. This model was produced between 1993 and 1998 and has a 4-speed automatic transmission, a 3.8-liter engine and can achieve a top speed of 179 to 205.1 miles per hour. It accelerates from 0 to 82 miles per hour in just 4.8 seconds and is definitely worth its 80 to $100,000 price tag. If you have a lot of money to spend, you can get yourself a bunch of houses, which is exactly what many celebrities do. The difference with Ellen is that she doesn't just buy the houses, but she actually loves to flip homes. And in the last few years, the comedian and talk show host has been in home renovation overdrive, buying and redoing more than half a dozen homes in Southern California. Built by renowned architects and filled with fine art and vintage Danish and French decor, Ellen is constantly looking for a challenge and a way to live out her creative side. According to TMZ, Ellen bought one of the ritziest homes in Los Angeles for nearly $40 million in January 2014 for example. After selling their nearby estate for $21 million, she and Portia moved to a 13,511 square foot home surrounded by 2.3 acres. The mansion featured 6 bedrooms, 9.5 bathrooms, a pool with a pool house, a gym, a spa and a tennis court for the tennis loving TV star of course. Like we just mentioned, Ellen loves to buy, redecorate and sell houses and does so on a fairly regular basis. One of those houses that she and her wife Portia bought and lived in for a while before finally selling it for $9.9 .9 million in an off-market deal a couple of years ago was their Los Angeles mansion. The couple bought the 4,000 square foot home for only $8.75 million in 2014 and later leased it to pop star and actor Nick Jonas. 
Located in the Hollywood Hills West, this ranch style spreads its in 1.63 acres and has 5 bedrooms, of which one is a 900 plus square foot master suites, 3 and a half bathrooms, and more than 2,500 square foot of terracing that surrounds a swimming pool and spa. The house also comes with a 3 car garage and a fire pit, as well as panoramic canyon and city views. If you love something, you can't just get enough of it, and that is exactly how Ellen DeGeneres feels about Porsche cars. In addition to her 993 and her 911 Carrera S, the show host also drives a metallic black Porsche Turbo S that she bought back in 2013. The car is one of the most high-performance models that the company produces and also one of the most stable ones. With a top speed of 315 km per hour, it takes just over 3 seconds to reach the 100 km per hour mark and the car also comes with a high-tech interior fitted with some really cool gadgets. But all this also comes with a pretty high price tag of around $160,000. When a house has an actual name, there is usually some kind of a story behind it. For several years, Ellen DeGeneres and her wife Portia de Rossi called the villa their home and this Montecito mansion was one of the most expensive houses that the show host has ever owned. The couple acquired the almost 17 acre spread that comes with several fountains and sculptures as well as eucalyptus and olive trees in two 2013 transactions that totaled $28.8 million. Originally designed by Michigan architect Wallace Frost in the 1930s and later owned by internationally acclaimed designer John Saladino, the 10,500 square foot stone built Tuscan style villa is surrounded by a couple of outbuildings that include a tennis court, a poolside entertainment pavilion called Jordan Hall, and several other properties that can be used as guest houses. The villa boasts, among other Italian inspired features, 18th century tiles, exposed beam ceilings, and terracotta surfaces. The living room on its own is over 800 square feet, but the property also features 6 bedrooms, multiple libraries, 9 fireplaces, an outdoor kitchen, a pizza oven, a lap pool and a spa bathroom with a Japanese soaking tub. In March 2017, the Montecito property came up for sale in the open market for $45 million, but the price was chopped to $39.5 million later that year before the property was taken off the open market shortly after the first of this year. Last month it was then reported that the property had been sold to Ned Sarandos, chief content officer at Netflix, for $34 million. Some people might think that owning three cars is more than enough, but Ellen DeGeneres is definitely not one of them. In addition to her three Porsche cars, the comedian and talk show is also the proud owner of a black Ferrari California that is sold as a 2 plus 2 hardtop convertible and has a decent luggage space in the back. This sleek, luxury car is powered by a front-mounted V8 engine and was the first Ferrari to feature a 7-speed dual-clutch transmission. It comes with a metal folding roof, direct petrol injection and a multi-link rear suspension. The Ferrari California can reach a top speed of 193 miles per hour and can accelerate from 0 to 60 in under 4 seconds, notable features that make this car so popular among the rich and famous who are willing to pay a staggering $200,000 for it. Because they constantly buy and sell houses, it is kinda hard to keep track of where Ellen DeGeneres and Porsche de Rossi actually live at the moment. One of the properties they currently own is a Beverly Hills mansion that is also their most expensive purchase ever. They acquired the amazing compound in the heart of Beverly Hills for around $49 million after renovations. The 9200 square foot house sits in approximately 3 acres of land and has its own street. The property comes with a concierge service as well as a 3 bedroom guest house, a fitness center, a workstation, a luxurious terrace and an outside swimming pool that sits on top of a garage with valid parking service. The comedian and show host did most of the interior design herself and decided to have amazing fireplaces all around the property and give it a special touch with things like marble flooring in the master bedroom as well as a large marble tub in the ensuite bathroom for instance. In addition to the mansion, Ellen also bought the surrounding houses, which means that she spent a staggering $78 million on the estate as well as its renovations and redecorations in total. These are obviously sums of money that us, ordinary people will never have and honestly cannot even wrap our minds around. <laughs> 
since we cannot say for sure where the two live at the moment. Our list has to include another one of their many houses that could potentially be the one they currently call home. According to Domino.com, the couple purchased this luxurious mansion located in southeastern Santa Barbara County for a mere $18.6 million about one and a half years ago. Their new 6,000 square foot home is a little smaller than the previous ones, featuring just 4 bedrooms and 4.5 and baths, but what it lacks in space, it makes up for in views and amenities as it is a beachfront property. The stunning home with an additional 883 square foot guest house is located in a quiet coastal town named Carpinteria. The one acre property also has a clay tennis court, a private courtyard and a plunge pool. What Ellen and Portia love about this house are the open floor plan and the spacious living room with great natural lighting. And if they ever get tired of looking at the interior, the floor to ceiling sliding glass doors open to stunning views of the Pacific. Thank you for checking this video out and don't forget to smash that like button and also subscribe for new videos every day. Turn that bell notification on and comment down below that you subscribed and we'll make sure to reply and thank as many of you as we possibly can. Once again thank you for watching and see you next time.